Hello, my name is Phil Balgi, and I'm a recent graduate of Martin Luther College and outgoing student body president. The Equipping Christian Witnesses campaign is providing exciting opportunities for all of us in the Wisconsin Evangelical Lutheran Synod. For us at MLC, it's an exciting time to share the joys and blessings the Lord has provided to this ministry. It's also an exciting opportunity for everyone to partner with our college, whose sole purpose of ministerial education directly impacts each and every congregation and school in our synod. The goal of all three campaign pillars, which are student recruitment, student financial aid, and student facilities, is to serve you by training as many students as possible in the most effective way possible, to provide as many staff ministers, pastors, and teachers as possible for your local ministries. As this campaign was presented around the country, we asked some friends of MLC to share their thoughts about each of the campaign pillars. We're starting with Pillar 3 because of the excitement generated by the current construction of the Betty Cohn Fieldhouse. Equally exciting are the hundreds of foundational gifts that led to the transformational donation that made this construction possible. We're sure that this facility will be a valuable resource to our college and so much more. I also, having been an athlete at MLC, know how busy their current facilities are. Uh, you know, with intramurals going on, basketball teams practicing, volleyball teams, I mean, the facilities are pretty maxed out. Being able to offer an indoor turf facility is incredible. It allows the athletic programs to expand. It also encourages the student body to be more active and healthier. I think it, it pays dividends at pretty much every level for MLC. The second part of Pillar 3 is a residence hall. And, as with our field house, this will serve our campus in so many ways. It will be a welcoming spot for visitors, a gathering space for students, and a strong factor in our recruitment efforts. Recruiting for ministry, does a dormitory or an athletic facility or an auditorium may make a difference? There are quite a few of us in ministry that, when we were in high school, perhaps didn't choose a ministry college because of our desire to be a pastor, our goal to be a teacher, serve as an early childhood director. But we chose it because we wanted to continue playing a sport, because we saw the opportunity to attend a school with some friends. And God more than once has used different motivations to get people in a school that will train them to conduct ministry. By providing an education of excellence, on an excellent campus is simply fulfilling what God asks us to do. Facilities have, they play a part in, in recruiting students. They absolutely do. Uh, if a student is on the fence of what they're going to do and, and one campus has modern, up-to-date buildings, that's going to probably have an influence on their decision. And one of the ways that we can do all things well is by, by making a Martin Luther College that is uh, appealing to students. Uh, yeah, facilities make a difference, for sure. It is a challenge to, um, to pay for college and to get through. Um, we're seeing that more and more in these last few years. Just to take one more barrier out of people's way, um, if someone has the gifts and they want to be a pastor, we, didn't, we never want money to come in the way of them being able to, to do that and to share the gospel with other people. Yes, Pillar 2, which focuses on financial assistance, seeks to eliminate the barriers that can stand in the way of ministry preparations. Since additional student aid is an essential element of our students' financial planning and an important part of reducing student debt, Pillar 2 seeks to strengthen our Congregational Partner Grant Program. Martin Luther College is a really, a really good uh, bargain for the dollar. But I think we have to be very mindful of how much educational debt our graduates take out, especially if they're taking it out into ministry. The college announced the, uh, uh, the congregational partnership aspect of it. That just fit hand in glove with what we were doing. And I, you know, even beyond our congregation, I think that that is one of the best things the college has done recently because it makes congregations think about, do we have a partnership with these students in providing training for the next generation? I think it's for a congregation to recognize we can partner with these young people and with the college ministry in helping to provide for the education for the next generation of called workers. And I think that's a really wonderful um, uh, partnership to get established. And so I, I just speak highly of that aspect of the program. We hope the Congregational Partner Grant Program can establish a long-lasting partnership with our congregations. And those partnerships will allow all of us 
to share in the financial opportunities of ministerial education. Speaking about the Congregational Partner Grant Program in particular, uh, that's, a, that's a way to, to carry each other's burdens, uh, to, to spread out those costs um, so that they don't only lie on the person who's going to be uh, delivering the gospel through word and sacrament to the next generations, but also borne by those who will be recipients of, of the gospel and word and sacraments and the next generation that, that comes after them. It's, it's an opportunity for us to show um, unity and solidarity with the students that we send to the college. Our congregation currently has one student at Martin Luther College, and that Congregational Partner Grant Program has been embraced by our congregation as a way to give financial support and also encouragement to the young lady that we have attending MLC right now. And I suppose over a total of, of four years, combined with um, MLC's portion of, of that money, that we've been able to reduce her costs by $8,000. Each of us needs to take responsibility for the fact that we can be a positive influence on those young people and help them to see the value of thinking about ministry. Um, I think that it would be good if we tried to intentionalize it, if all of us uh, pastors, teachers certainly, but also mature individual Christians made lists, at least in our head, of young people we know that would be good candidates. Who in my congregation would I like to see be a pastor or a teacher someday? And what can I do to encourage them? It doesn't have to be some big encounter, but um, the, the quiet word, uh, the, the, the moment where you let them know that you respect what, they, what God has given them and that they could be that person. And most importantly, student recruitment, which is the center of this whole campaign. It's all about students training here at MLC, who will join me to be a new generation who will boldly speak the gospel in your local ministries and to the world. As we each take ownership of this privilege, what can that look like in your congregation? Yeah, I think as a congregation, we, we probably have two big roles to encourage young people. I think one is awareness. I, I think in our congregations, we don't talk enough about what MLC is and means to our synod. Um, so just letting everybody in our congregation know that, hey, this is our Wells College of Ministry. And what does that mean? And what does that look like in our day-to-day -day ministry operations at our church? And also, I think there's another thing that we tend to forget to do overall as Christians, but that's just pray, pray that the Lord of the harvest is going to send out workers into his field and pray for the young people in your congregation that have the gifts and the skills to be able to do it. And um, praise the congregation that you can, uh, the people that are in ministry in your congregation can model the ministry well. And I think also pray just as a congregation that even if you don't have the young people to, to point to MLC, pray for the people that are here at MLC on this campus preparing for ministry and really encourage them as well. Parents, I would say, encourage your son or daughter to give it a try. God will let students know if they're on the right path or not. I'm thankful for my education here at MLC and how MLC has prepared me to continue my training at Wisconsin Lutheran Seminary. It's exciting to be a part of this ministry and a part of equipping Christian witnesses because there's nothing more exciting than proclaiming the gospel. Join us.